for the most part, your average Montanan, uh, more than anything else, wants to be left alone. I think that Montanans are proud of their heritage of gun ownership. We are distrustful of the federal government, but not paranoid of it. The Firearms Freedom Act declares that any firearms made and retained in Montana are simply not subject to any federal authority, uh, regulatory authority, under the power given to Congress in the Constitution to regulate commerce among the states. The bill um, just basically blocks uh, or prohibits uh, using state resources to enforce uh, a federal law that, uh, that is unconstitutional, uh, kind of as a pushback uh, to the, f the federal government and their quest for greater and greater control of our lives. I was, um, you know, not only opposed that bill, I was bordered on offended by it. I have watched now through the last three terms of the legislature these types of bills that defy common sense and are unconstitutional be introduced year after year, session after session, and it boggles my mind. I don't think we received but maybe one Democrat vote through the whole process, so it doesn't surprise me the governor vetoed it. The voters of Montana, if they really wanted a law like that, they would have raised up you know, some objections to the governor's veto. Somebody's got to be the first one to stand up, um, and it just will be us. And, uh, and I know there are those that think, well, if the governor's not going to sign it, we're just beating our heads against the wall uh, by putting this stuff out there. Well, perhaps we are, but uh, sometimes that's what you have to do. We are a little more creative here in Montana in coming up with ideas about how to uh, facilitate our right to bear arms, um, ideas that may not have been tried anywhere else and that may uh, catch fire and spread to other places.